Hello friends. So the last person that we're going to hang out with in this section of the arrest and trial is Pontius Pilate. We're going to go to John 19 and we're going to read 12 and 16. They say, after this, Pilate sought to release him, but the Jews cried out, if you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend. For whoever makes himself a king becomes a traitor to Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. Pilate was well aware that Jesus was innocent of any crime. This was a religious dispute. The prosecution tried to indict Jesus as a subversive rebel. When they failed, they unveiled a new charge. We have a law and by that law, he ought to die since he has made himself the son of God. And that comes just from John 19, verse seven. This only reinforced Pilate's decision to release Jesus. What did Rome care about a would-be prophet's wild claims? The prosecution warned, you are not a friend of Caesar. Pilate could lose his membership in the elite Friends of Caesar's Club in Rome, which included senators and overseers and governors. The prosecution could send a delegation to Rome complaining against Pilate for refusing to execute a guilty rebel. Tiberius Caesar, abandoning earlier anti-Semitism, listened to complaints against provincial governors. Pilate could lose his club membership, his position, and possibly even his life. It was Jesus or himself, Pilate realized, and he opted to save himself. He was no hero, yet not the villain often portrayed either. He had exhausted every legal option available trying to save Jesus. Let's pray. Prevent us, suffering Savior, from blaming the Jews or Judas Iscariot, Pilate, or anyone else for what happened on Good Friday. It was our sins that led to your sacrifice, an exchange that we will fully understand only in heaven. In your name we pray, your holy and righteous and saving name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, my friends, that took a turn, didn't it? An appropriate one. I love you so much. I'm going to spend some more time meditating on this. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.